Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome here to a wonderful screencast by John Overall for WordPress plugins from A to Z. This screencast here goes with the uh, podcast you may have listened to or may not have listened to, but this screencast here is going to be covering the plugin Simple Ads Manager, whereas it is anything but that. So without much further ado, we're going to get started on this. First thing you need to do is you need to head into your admin area and go to your install new plugins, do a search search for simple ads manager nice and simple to do should be the top result you get simply click on it add it install it to your system then activate it once it's activated you will have just a couple of things you'll have to deal with first thing you got to do is go find it. It puts a brand new menu item for you called ads. You'll find it down your right hand column like everything else and what you have to do first of course is deal with your settings. It's got some base settings that need to be done and dealt with on it. As we go through we'll explain a bit more about what we've got in here. Now the only base settings you get to change right now on here is how many ads it places per page or total of ads per page and that's it for the moment because we actually have to come back to this after we have created the zones and ads for it now first off you have to go create yourself a new zone and for those that don't know what zones are zones is a group of ads that you put together in one area it's sort of like if you have a category of advertisements that are all grouped together such as say you're an affiliate for WordPress themes different companies uh, Woo themes studio press etc etc every time you create an affiliate ad you would put them in this one zone we're actually going to call this sample zone one for simplicity's sake same with the description we're just going to give it the same description saves time. We don't have any ads to place into it yet. The uh, default settings are what we're going to go through on this, leaving everything at default for the moment. Make it active, save it, one zone, done. Now we have to go create some ads and add places. First thing you have to create is an ad place. Starts off with zero. An ad place will be simple sample ad place one ad place one Oops. okay get that call it description what size ad we're gonna run a 486 by 60 banners what we're gonna use here leave that easy ads patch nothing we're going to run an image so we're actually going to upload the image we'll just go grab it right here from our system and pull it right out of our right out of our folder if we can grab the right folder <laughs> there we go it uploads automatically you can also use external JavaScript or HTML code to place your ad. If you're a Google uh, Google DFP member, default uh, or a uh, publisher program, you can add your code here and pull that. You can also stick code before or after the advertisement. So we've uploaded the ad. Now we need a target for the ad. So we'll go get our target URL. and we place the target URL for the ad. Once that's done, simply click Save. Okay, so now you can go back to your ad places. It'll give you a list, simple ad place one. Now what it'll do, aside from that, tell you what there is, is what ads there are. You can create new ads for each one. And again, 
what you can do now is you can select a file, JPEG, upload a file from your system. Okay, it pops it up in there for you. Give it a link. Or you can use code, depends on your liking. You can also run code with PHP script in here. You can give the add a weight from maximum activity to minimal activity. This is great if you have multiple types of ads and you want them to show at different levels. You can have it show also on all pages of the blog or you can limit it to what pages it's going to show on from your home page all the way down to a category, all the way down to your archive pages. You can have it show only on certain posts and pages by ID of the page. You can also have it not show on certain pages, show only in single posts or categories. So you can limit this in numerous ways. Now you can also create a schedule for this. So you can have this ad start on a specific date and end on a specific date. This makes it easy if you're selling ads by the month. You can have someone say, I want to buy an ad for June, or what is it, today's uh, March 3rd. You can have it buy from March 3rd till July 26th, and it'll run for that exact period of time. You can also limit the ad's running time by the number of hits, number of times that people click on the ad off to their website. Say they want to buy 300 clicks from your website to theirs. Sell them 300 clicks, and that ad will run until 300 clicks are hit. You can also um, well, limit it by hits, limit it by hits, um, how many times the ad is shown and how many times it's clicked. You can also place a price on the ad per month, price on the ad per thousand, and a price on the ad per click. So we got all that for you. And then, of course, then you just hit save on it. Oops, we forgot to give it a name. So make sure you give yours a name. Sample add one with a description. Now what you want to do is you want to find out how well that ad is being displayed. Oh, actually, before we do that, we're going to go back to our settings page because now we've got some settings to change in here. If you have multiple ads, you can decide where you're going to place the ad before content or after content on your page. This will be in your post area, either at the top of the content or below your content. You can allow it to place auto-inserting before page content or after auto-inserting after. You can also use predefined HTML code into there. You can also set your, like I said, you can set your DFP settings here for Google. Statistics, you want to allow bots and crawlers detection. The reason for this is if you're selling ads on a per hit or per thousand basis, cost per view basis, you want to you know, make sure they're counted accurately and you don't want it counting bots as their views because bots aren't humans. Um, displaying of currency, you can put it as US dollar or Euro or automatically display. They'll automatically detect it. Personally, I just stick it as US unless you're targeting Europe. Um, and again, how many ads per page? this is up to you and if you need to remove it go ahead and do that right down here hit save page changes on it all done now back up we've got we can go back into the zone settings and double check the zones now that we have an ad go edit the zone now it gives you your default ad is to place okay your default setting your home page is the default setting for your ad. Whatever default ad you set. So this is your default ad setting here. And that default setting is here. So if you have multiple ads, you can choose which one is the default one. And then you can choose which one will always appear in different areas. Just choose from whatever list you have. This is already in good shape, so we'll just leave it. Okay. So that's all done. So now we've got that. Now we're going to pop over to the front page here and we're going to take a look and see what we've got. Now it doesn't place it on your front page if you have a column of listing stuff, but it does place it on the individual content pages. And it should place it above your content and below your content. Now, of course, you can use any size ad you want. Now here's where this plugin gets very useful. 
Now what you can do is they have a couple of great widgets for you. And what these widgets do is they allow you to place your ads based on two different criteria. And what they give you that, they give you an ads place and an ads zone. And you can place as many of these widgets as you want in and around your site. They'll stack on top of each other. For zone, it'll choose the ads in a particular zone. So like I said, if you have a zone that is called um, themes, you can choose all the ads in a theme to appear in one spot on theme affiliates. You can hide the widget style, allow using previously defined before and after codes of ads. May or may not be necessary. And the other one is here is for specific ads. So you can ask for and choose very specific ads to save and have it appear. And to give you an idea on how that's going to work, what we're going to do is we're going to pop in here real quick and we're going to go add an additional ad to this so that you can see what we're up to. So we just go view ads. We're going to just click new ad here. Sample ad two. Two. We're going to choose image code because it's much quicker for what we're currently right now. We want to count the clicks. We want to upload a new image foam. We need another 4868 by 60 banner so that we can differentiate between the first and the second one. And we'll just stick the same ad target on here. Okay. And we'll have it show on all pages. And we're not going to change any of these other settings. And we're not going to limit it on the per hits. Stick it in the rotation. Now to get an idea on how this is going to work, just so you can see, this is what it currently looks like. So we'll hit the refresh button. Now we have a couple of them being placed. See on the first part here, the below the code and above the code. Now these two spots here were the widget setting, settings that we had done over here. And these widget settings have you add zones, so we're going to have them pop from a zone, and then adds place. So here we can choose sample adds place. So I got to back up a bit. I needed to create a second place, not a second add. So, see, so even I get confused with this. This is such a great plugin, so much to do, but yet it requires so much thought with it. So we'll pop in here and we'll go sample add place one or two. Oops. Sample add place two. Okay. We're going to make it 468 by 60 banner again. Image. Actually, we'll just upload another one so we can have a completely different image here this time. Same link though. And again, add place allows you to place the code before and after. This is your default ad for this. So what we need to do now, once sample add place 2 is created, we need to go back to the list and we need to create an ad under sample add place 2. Wow, getting a lot of traffic to that site. <laughs> okay, so this will be sample add two. Actually, sample add three, because we have a sample add two. Okay, and we're going to upload again another 468 by 60 banner. No, we don't have any more. So we'll go back to this one. This one works fine. Okay, and we want that image code, chose, and of course this is where you can control all the settings for it, all the way down through here. So you save that, and once that's uploaded, now we can go back to the widgets, and you can 
change those settings that I was talking about in the widgets under add place. See now you've got a choice between add place one and add place two. Okay, and add zone we only chose one zone setting. So once that's saved then you can go back and take a look at the front page again or not the front page but the refresh of it. So now you get the same ones showing because we chose that one. And of course, down here below, we're getting the different one. Hit the refresh one more time on it, so you can see a bit about what it's doing. Oops, we hit the wrong button. <laughs> Let's go back here and find ourselves. There we go. So you can place the ads in the widgets. So you could place them in any of your widgetized sidebars using 125 by 125 ads. You could um, place any size ad you want. You can even place your Google AdSense code using this program here. So it could save you tons of time, but initially it's going to require you a bit of time to get it set up and configured and everything functioning just the way you want. So that's it in a nutshell the simple ads manager and I hope that helps you out so if you do have any questions feel free to get hold of me you can reach me at dragon at johnoverall.com and uh, I'll be happy to respond back if I can or you can just hit my website at johnoverall.com and uh, hit the contact form we'll send you whatever information we can so until next time have yourself a good morning good afternoon or good evening wherever you happen to be out there on the globe tonight